a very good evening to everyone watching. Today we are coming to you here from the Sri Lankan Technological Campus where the Model United Nations of the SLTC has organized solutions. A panel discussion addressing different issues, modern day issues. And it's definitely going to be an interesting day, so why don't you stay tuned? I'm Nethmi and you're with Pulse. So I'm here with Ms. Achila, the founder of Good Market. So could you tell us uh, what was the concept behind um, the Good Market? Uh, Good Market is actually all about uh, creating uh, products and services that we can, uh, you know, uh, find solution for environmental and uh, uh, people's so I mean the people's problem because uh, because we always say good market is all about something good for people and the planet so uh, what I basically what I interested to say about good market is uh, I mean most of the Sri Lankan uh, people who are trying to do something you know with their production or be as entrepreneurs they have a huge problem for market they don't know how to market their products there is no value for you know Sri Lankan own products so then what we thought to bring forward our uh, entrepreneurs who are around the country into the ones one platform and and develop them and de uh, bring them forward to maybe an international market with the other supported services like certifications maybe experience and branding and you know uh, the, the, the talk about Sri Lankan value to the world so that's what we do we created a small movement called good market now it's became kind of like ecosystem around the country Not not only the Sri Lanka, it's like now uh, going as global movement. So can you tell us about your journey with the good market from start to the point you're in now? Yeah, actually good market started as a social enterprise. Uh, we started in 2012 as a small farmers market in Bataramula with 32 vendors. So we thought actually, you know, uh, to bring at least promote uh, our vendors uh, with, you know, with their products and in their brand name. So then uh, finally what we realized, the one day of week is not enough to create a whole, you know, Sri Lankan economic system. So we thought to actually create more opportunities for more uh, uh, rural entrepreneurs to come and sell their products in urban or maybe other areas. So then we started with small farmers market and then we move uh, to a, a retail chain and today we have two retail chains and we are planning another few and then we have a certification system called TGS where organic farmers can uh, get certificate. Uh, as, as organic can sell their products in uh, local market and also we have a good market a global platform where we can bring our entrepreneurs to the globe that's what actually the whole journey at the movement Now I'm here with uh, Kavinda Tenakon, who is the co-founder of Without Borders. So can you tell us a little bit about Without Borders and how you feel like it has impacted those who are involved? Um, Without Borders now, since we started in 2014, has transitioned into a design company where we go into local classrooms and we work with local teachers and what we do is create new uh, toolkits and training models that can be used in classrooms. Um, and what we've been doing is being committed to creating the next generation of critical thinkers and creative problem solvers that the country needs. Um, and I think in terms of impact, uh, we've worked in probably six or seven provinces at the moment. Every year we train at least close to 2,000 individuals, including local school teachers. Um, and I think from the impact, what we've seen is being able to really say that learning needs to change, our classrooms need to be redesigned, and it doesn't have to start in Colombo, that it needs to start outside Colombo. So I feel like that's what we've been able to achieve so far. Well, uh, you talked about the problems present in a classroom. So can you uh, brief us on it and tell why you thought it was important to discuss about it today? I think the biggest problem we have in classrooms is that we need to realize we're going to a future when either classrooms nor schools will be relevant. And I think we're still teaching kids how to memorize and we're teaching them how to face an exam. 
but that's not learning, that's not education. So I think that's kind of the biggest problem I've seen so far and I believe the next revolution needs to start in our classrooms and that's something I live by, I breathe and I tell everybody wherever I go. So what do you think was the response from the audience who participated today? You know, I think it's it's great that people are coming out, you know, they could have just gone home and had a cup of tea and got to sleep. So I feel like the fact that they took the initiative to come here and the fact that young people are taking the initiative to organize things like this is, is, is great. But I still feel that as Sri Lankans, we're still not asking critical questions. We're not coming forward and that's something you see across panels wherever you go. So I think that was a downer, but I think the event as a whole was amazing and I wish this kind of leads into more things that happen outside Colombo. So, yeah. So I'm here with Minsa. So what are your thoughts on SLTC um, organizing an event like this? Actually, I'm the founder of the Model United Nations of Sri Lanka Technological Campus. I was really proud when they gave this project to be done because the SLTC is a well-organized campus in this area, exactly in Colombo. And it was so, you know, uh, we were so proud to have this project here. And then we got what it, like, we just got what we were expecting. So what are your thoughts about this event overall? Like how do you think everyone responded? Yeah, everyone seriously responded so well. Uh, we didn't expect this, uh, this much number of people here and then everyone was so enthusiastic. Um, so they randomly asked questions but exactly we, we got everything what we wanted, the solutions and everything and the dignitaries. We're so proud to have you all here. Watching. To keep up with the pulse of Sri Lanka, subscribe to our channel here. To watch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living it.